Hello, I'm Carol Celine, talking with Dr. Charles Yeo, a surgeon who specializes in pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is the fourth leading cause of death among cancers. And your specialty is a particular procedure called the Whipple. Could you tell us what that is? Sure, the, um, the Whipple operation is a regional operation used to resect or remove uh, tumors in the head, neck, or unsnate process of the pancreas. So it's a complex surgical procedure that involves, for the first part, the removal of the tumor, and the second part, the reconstruction, so that the patient's GI tract can return to normal. So who is a candidate for a Whipple procedure? So patients that have tumors of the pancreas and other adjoining structures where the tumor is localized to the area of the pancreas where it's not spread, that is early, relatively early stage tumors. Hmm. How has the landscape changed in pancreatic surgery in the last 10 years? Probably the most important development is now we recognize that pancreatic cancer is not just one disease, but it's several different diseases marked by different genetic abnormalities. We now recognize that although surgery <clears throat> helps a lot of patients, the chemotherapy that we use also is very important, and there's a difference in certain patients' response to different chemotherapies. So it's a very, very new um, philosophy. It's a new approach whereby individual patients should be received targeted therapy based upon their genetics. Well, that must be very powerful. It's powerful and very exciting as well. Are there warning signs that might let people know earlier so they could be treated? Well, the classic, quote, early warning signs are abdominal pain and jaundice where the eyes and skin turn yellow. Sadly, those signs are typically not very early, although the patients may only be yellow for a few weeks when they come to the attention of the doctor. The tumor's been present for quite some time. We're working in many laboratories on finding better early detection markers. But we don't have them yet. It's true. There's no accurate early detection marker. So other than the stomach, is there pain anywhere else? Is, is, is smoking, obesity, are these factors? <clears throat> Well, the two factors you just mentioned, smoking and obesity, are the, are the most powerful environmental risk factors. And so if, if patients want to try to reduce their risk of pancreatic cancer, um, they should never smoke and they shouldn't become obese. There's a lot of other things that they shouldn't do. And of course, <laughs> none of us should smoke or be obese, and not just for pancreatic cancer reasons. And you've done how many of these? Well, Whipple operations, I've done 1,081 as of yesterday. So Jefferson's the place to come if you have pancreatic cancer. I'd like to think that's true. I'd agree with you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.